Hey guys, uh, in the last video that I lapped these valves in, I promised that I was going to show you how I check the valves for good seal after the heads are assembled. Well, there's three different techniques that I have used to see or been taught to check to see if the valves are sealing well. One of them, the, the most uh, least accurate in my opinion is if you take a flashlight and you shine it around the valve seat like this and you look down the ports if there's a leak a huge leak you'll see a light come through and like i say that's really a really rough idea on whether the valve is sealing but another thing that i will do if you fill the port half full of antifreeze and it will drip if you even a great valve job will drip some antifreeze through the valve if you let it set overnight but if it doesn't leak you know in the first two minutes you are you have a a very good seal on your valve that's that's one of two of the ways that i check for sealing let me spin the head around and i'll show you the last and final uh, check that I will do on a set of cylinder heads after the valves have been mated in and seated to the cylinder head. Okay, the last test that I'll perform to see if my valve valves are seated after the valve job, after the lapping in, and probably the most difficult to pass test is I'll fill the combustion chamber with antifreeze. And then I'll take a rag and seal up the port with a, and pressurize it with air. Not a tremendous amount, but. If there's no bubbles that air pressure that comes around your valve and shows with bubbles coming through the antifreeze, uh, you can be very confident that the uh, the valves are sealed and you're ready to assemble the engine. Thanks for watching.